Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how to set up Eclipse ID for Java development on Windows 10. If you want to set up your Eclipse ID with Java, then watch this video till the end. So that's been said, let's get started. To download Java JDK 13 on Windows 10, just open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK and open the link from oracle.com. Don't worry about the download link. The download link will be on the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download Java JDK Platform 13. So to download, just click on this download icon. And here we have our Java SE Development Kit 13 downloads. So to download, just accept the license agreement and select your operating system. So let me download this one. Java JDK 13 0.1 Windows X86 bin.exe file. Here you can see it is downloading and it is around 160 MB. So it will take some time to download. So let me complete the download. Then I will show you how you can install Java JDK 13 on Windows 10. Once your download has been completed, just open the file. Then click on yes. So here we have the setup window. Let me minimize the browser and here just click on next. This is the location where Java JDK 13 is going to install. So if you want to change this location, then simply click on this change button. And from here, you can select your location where you want to install. For now, I'm just going to keep it default, then click on next. And here you can see it is installing Java JDK 13 on Windows 10. So installation process will take some time. So wait until the installation process complete. After you have successfully installed Java JDK 13, just simply click on this close button. Let me tell you that by just downloading and installing Java JDK 13 on Windows 10, Java will not work. For that, we have to set environment variable. To set environment variable, just open control panel. Then here click on system and security. And here click on system. And on the left hand side, you will find option called advanced system setting. Simply click on advanced system setting. And here we have our environment variable. Simply click on environment variable and on the system variable, select path, then click on edit. Here we have to add our Java JDK bean folder path. For that, just open a C drive, then go to programs file and search for a folder called Java. And inside this Java, you will find a folder called JDK 13.0.1. Open this folder and here you will find a bin folder. Just open this bin folder and copy this path. So let me copy this path. Then here click on new and here just simply paste that path. So this is our Java JDK path. So let me click on OK, then click on OK and here click on OK. And let me close this control panel. So we had successfully set up Java JDK 13 on Windows 10. Now to check whether your Java JDK 13 is perfectly working or not, for that simply open comment prompt and here search for java hyphen version so here you can see java version 13.0.1 and the release date and here you can see java sc runtime environment build number and here you will find java host 64 bit server vm build number so our java has successfully set up let me check whether java c compiler is working or not Simply search for Java C. If you find bunch of statement, that means the Java C compiler has been successfully set. Let me tell you that Java C is a compiler which compiles Java code. So this way you can install Java JDK 13 on Windows 10. After you have successfully installed and set up Java JDK 13 on Windows 10, now it's time to download and install Eclipse IDE. So to install Eclipse IDE, first of all, we have to download the Eclipse file. For that, just open your favorite browser and search for Eclipse IDE and open the link from eclipse.org. Don't worry about the download link. The download link will be on the description box. So this is the official website from where we can download Eclipse IDE. To download, just click on this download button. And here you can see the latest version of Eclipse IDE is 2019-09. So to download, just simply click on this download 64-bit version. And here simply click on this download button. And here you can see it is downloading. If your download doesn't start, you can simply click on this link to start the download. So our download has been completed. Now let me open this file. So here we have our Eclipse installer. So let me minimize the browser. So this is our Eclipse installer. 
Before installing Eclipse IDE for Java development, we have to update this installer. For that, simply click on this hamburger menu and here you will find a update option. Simply click on update and here just simply accept the license agreement and here you can see it is downloading the Eclipse installer file. Update will install. Now let me click on OK. It will automatically restart your Eclipse installer. Here you can see Eclipse IDE is available for other programming language too. So if you want to develop C, C++, then you have to install this one. For JavaScript, web development, PHP, and for other tools also, you can use Eclipse. For now, we are just going to set up Eclipse IDE for Java development. So just click on Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And here it will automatically detect all the information. You have to simply click on this install button. And here we have to accept Eclipse Foundation Software User Agreement. So simply click on Agree. And here you can see it is installing Eclipse ID on Windows 10. It will take some time to install, so it will depend on your internet speed. Eclipse has been successfully installed on Windows 10. Now simply click on this Launch button. And here you can see Eclipse ID 2019-09. Here we have to select our workspace location. So if you want to change this location, you can simply click on this Browse button and you can navigate to your location where you want to create your Eclipse workspace. For now, I'm just going to keep it default and click on launch. Let me maximize the browser. So here we have our welcome screen. Welcome to Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So here you can check overview, tutorials and some samples. Now if you want to know what's new in Eclipse IDE 2019-09, then you can simply click on this watch new option. For now, let me close this window. Now let me show you how you can create your first Java project using Eclipse IDE. For that simply click on file then click on new and select java project so let us name our project as test and here we have to select our java jre that is java jdk 13.0.1 then click on next so this is our project hierarchy inside this source folder all the source code will be saved so let me click on finish and here you have to create your module info.java file let me name it as test and here simply click on create. So this is our module.java file. Here we have our package explorer. Now let me show you how you can create your Java class file. Simply right click on source file. Then go to new. And here we have to create our package. So simply click on package and name your package. Say for example demo. Then click on finish. So here we have our package file that is demo. Now to create your Java file, simply right click on demo and click on new, then simply click on class. And here name your class. Say for example, my class. Here simply click on public and here you have to select your method. So let me select public starting void main, then click on finish. So here we have our package that is demo and here we have our class file, which is my class. Now let me show you how you can print hello world using Java. Simply write system.out.println and between this parenthesis just put code and write your statement. Say for example hello world and after completing every statement we have to put semicolon. To save just click on file then click on save. So our file has been saved now to run the program. Simply click on this run button and here on our console we have hello world. Now if you want to learn Java then we already have a playlist called Java tutorial for beginners. So the playlist link will be on the i button or you will get the link on the description box. So this way you can set up Eclipse IDE on Windows 10 for Java development. So that's it for this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.